the $500 billion ultimatum China's power play in the tech world. China's recent move has sent shockwaves through the tech industry. They've issued an ultimatum to ASML, a Dutch company. Pay up or lose your patent rights. The amount? A staggering $500 billion. This aggressive tactic has sparked international concern. It raises questions about intellectual property and innovation. This isn't just about money, it's about power. China is determined to become a tech superpower. They want to control the technologies of the future. This move is a clear signal of their intent. It's a bold power play with global implications. The world is watching closely. The outcome of this standoff will have far-reaching consequences. It could reshape the global tech landscape as we know it. This isn't just a regional dispute, it's a defining moment in the global race for technological dominance. The stakes are incredibly high. This situation demands careful consideration. We need to understand the players, the motives and the potential outcomes. Only then can we begin to grasp the magnitude of what's at stake. ASML, the unsung hero of the chip industry. Most people have never heard of SML, but this Dutch company plays a crucial role in our digital world. They make the machines that make our chips. These chips power our smartphones, computers and countless other devices. ASML's technology is incredibly complex. It's also incredibly valuable. They hold a virtual monopoly on the most advanced chip-making equipment. This makes them a critical link in the global tech supply chain. China knows this. It's a strategic move with enormous economic and geopolitical implications. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. China's ambitions, a quest for technological dominance. China has made no secret of its ambitions. They want to lead the world in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other cutting-edge technologies. To do this, they need to control the semiconductor industry. China is already a major player in chip manufacturing. They want to control their own technological destiny. This ambition has led to a more aggressive approach. China is using its economic and political might to achieve its goals. This has led to tensions with other countries. It has also raised concerns about fairness and ethical behavior. According to reports, China is claiming that ASML's technology infringes on certain patents that are owned by Chinese companies. They're alleging that ASML has been using this technology without permission and that they owe Chinese companies billions of dollars in royalties. It's a claim that's been strongly denied by ASML, which says that it has developed its technology independently. But regardless of who's right or wrong, one thing is clear China's demand is a major threat to ASML's business model. The company relies heavily on the sale of its lithography machines to companies around the world, and if China follows through on its threat, it could be catastrophic for ASML's bottom line. The implications of this threat are far-reaching, and they could have a major impact on the global semiconductor industry. If China gets its way, it could mean that ASML is forced to hand over its technology to Chinese companies, which would give them a major advantage in the market. It would also raise serious questions about the security of the global tech supply chain, particularly when it comes to critical infrastructure like 5G network. But it's not just ASML that's at risk this threat has implications for the entire industry. If China is successful in its demands, it could set a precedent that would allow other countries to make similar claims. It would create a situation where companies are constantly looking over their shoulders, wondering when the next threat is coming. The $500 billion price tag is also worth noting it's a staggering amount of money, and it's one that would be difficult for a SML to pay even if it wanted to. It's a clear sign that China is willing to take drastic action to get what it wants. The US government should be blamed for whatever action the Chinese government is taking against ASML. The innovation impasse stifling progress or protecting ingenuity. Proponents of China's stance argue that it's necessary to protect national interests. They claim that ASML's technology is too important to be left in foreign hands. They argue that China needs to control its own technological destiny. But critics argue that this approach will ultimately harm innovation. They say that forcing a SML to hand over its technology will discourage other companies from investing in research and development. They fear that this will lead to a less innovative and less dynamic tech industry. The truth is likely somewhere in between. China's actions are driven by a desire to surpass the West, but their methods will improve the very innovation they seek to achieve. This presents a dilemma for the global US and her allies. How do we balance the need for national security with the importance of international cooperation? How do we protect intellectual property while fostering innovation on a global scale? How do we navigate the fault lines of tech nationalism? 
a world divided navigating the fault lines of tech nationalism. China's actions are part of a broader trend of tech nationalism. Countries around the world are increasingly focused on achieving technological independence. They want to control their own data, develop their own technologies, and reduce their reliance on foreign companies. This trend is driven by a number of factors including economic competition, national security concerns, and a desire for greater sovereignty. But it also carries risks. It could lead to a more fragmented internet, a slowdown in innovation, and increased geopolitical tensions. The challenge for the international community is to find ways to manage these tensions. We need to find a balance between national interests and global cooperation. We need to create a level playing field for companies to compete and innovate. This will require dialogue, compromise, and a shared commitment to finding solutions that benefit everyone. It will also require a willingness to move beyond zero-sum thinking and embrace a more collaborative approach to technological development. The high stakes of retaliation, trade wars, and economic tremors. China's ultimatum to a SML has sparked outrage in the West. Governments and businesses are considering their options. Some are calling for retaliation. They want to impose sanctions on China or restrict their access to critical technologies, but retaliation carries its own risks. It could escalate tensions and lead to a trade war. This would harm businesses and consumers on both sides. It could also damage the global economy and slow down innovation. Finding the right response is crucial. We know that China's actions are legitimate because of the US actions against China, but we also need to avoid actions that could make the situation worse. This requires careful diplomacy and a willingness to work with allies to find a coordinated response. It also requires a long-term perspective. We need to find ways to address the underlying issues that are driving tech nationalism. Charting the future between collaboration and conflict. The outcome of the situation is still uncertain. It's possible that China and ASML will reach a compromise. It's also possible that the situation will escalate, leading to a trade war or other forms of conflict. The path we choose will have profound implications for the future of technology and the global order. We can choose a path of collaboration, where we work together to address shared challenges and create a more prosperous future for all. Or we can choose a path of conflict, where we retreat into our own corners, build walls instead of bridges, and squander the potential of technology to create a better world. The choice is ours. A call to action safeguarding innovation in an interconnected world. The situation with China and ASML is a wake-up call. It highlights the importance of protecting intellectual property and fostering innovation. This is not just an issue for governments and businesses. It's an issue that affects us all. We all benefit from the innovations that drive progress. We all have a stake in creating a future where innovation can flourish, stay informed and support organizations promoting innovation, engage in dialogue and demand action from officials. The future of technology is up to us to shape. Let's work together to create a future where innovation thrives. And if you want to learn more about semiconductor technology trends, be sure to check out my previous video on Xiaomi 3 nanometer latest in-house manufactured chip. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.